that'll do for a while. Thanks, Uncle Billy. Are you Mr. Smith? Ah, that's me. Though most folks just call me Uncle Billy. Say, you're Colonel Drake from Tidersville. That's right. And I need some help. I wouldn't doubt it. Sit down. Thank you. You see, I've been coming the 60 miles over to Taranto month after month, and driller after driller has promised to help him, and there isn't one of them has kept his word. Uh, that right? I'd just about given up when someone told me about you. I don't know what I can say to persuade you. Maybe you don't have to, Colonel. Maybe when a man believes in himself as strong as you do, it's uh, kind of catching. Uh, you want me to work for you, I take it. Indeed, I do. They say that you're a skilled drill and tool maker and an expert driller. Well, now, all them talents is liable to cost you money. Would uh, $2.50 a day be too much? You mean you'll come? Just tell me what day you want me to report in Titusville. Thank you, Uncle Billy. Dig down a bedrock before we start drilling. Yeah, but we tried that. The underground water made the whole cave. Well, we'll dig as far as we can, then we'll use the drill. Pop! What is it, boy? Can we go fishing now? You promised. Soon as we get the rig underway. Now, I'll go on our son back with the sister. Oh, Pop! Get your gang together, Colonel, and start digging. your finger in the bowl of water. Pull it out and where's the hole? Yes, I know. But there must be some way. Take up on the slack. Tarnation is this? The end of our trouble, I hope. Come on, help us unload, and I'll explain later. It's down the bedrock, Colonel. Hold it. Fine. Now we'll put the drill to work.
Now, don't worry. It's nothing serious. The drill slipped into a crevice in the rock, that's all. Well, that's all for today, boys. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday, anyway. And I promised my boy I'd take him fishing in the morning. I'll sharpen the bit first thing Monday. Uncle Billy. Yeah, Colonel? I had a letter from Mr. Townsend this morning. Is that so? Uh, what did uh, he say? Therefore, I direct you to cease drilling, abandon the venture, and return to New Haven. Hmm. Colonel, if I know you by now... Yes, Uncle Billy. I think you do. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet the fish are wondering how good little boys are fighting today. Oh, Pop, quit teasing. <laughs> come on, Pop, come on, let's go. Yeah? Come on, Pop, run. Yeah. Hold on a second, son. Town. Find Colonel Drake and tell him we struck oil. Go on, run, run. Ah, ah, here he is. We done it, Colonel. We struck it. Let them laugh at you now. Oil, oil, Colonel. Hundreds of gallons of it. You won. It's true. Oil. A deep pool. Still, I knew. I knew it could be done. Drake had succeeded. Overnight, he became famous. Now people realize the importance of his accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. They say he's pumping 200 gallons every 24 hours. 200 gallons? I hear he's getting 400 gallons every day. Say, supposing he got stuff on my land, how would I find out? Me too. Let's go ask him. Back to their farms they went to drill for oil. If one man's initiative and will could succeed, so could another's. And who under these vast and free American skies was to stop or hinder them? Sometimes their tools were crude, but their determination was boundless. Wells sprang up throughout the valley. The word of Drake's success spread far. And from distant places, men came to Titusville to lease or buy land and to drill for oil. Almost overnight, a new industry was born, the oil industry, created by American ingenuity, freedom, independence, America is deeply indebted to Drake, the man of vision, and to all men like him. May our country's future be enriched by those who follow in his footsteps.